How can you create AI-generated videos that you can upload and sell at sites like Adobe Stock? Adobe recently officially began allowing contributors to upload and sell AI-generated videos. If you do a search on Adobe Stock with the search field blank and select Video, expand the toolbox and select Generative AI Only, you'll see that as of the day I'm recording this video, there's about 13,000 videos that contributors tagged as generated with AI tools. That means if you start uploading AI video now, you're practically getting in on the ground floor. But what AI platform is the best to use, and are there any free ones? The answer is, kind of. And what would be the best kind of content for you to generate? It's one thing to generate and upload AI videos, but you want to create content that will actually sell, and I'll touch on that all-important question at the end of the video. But let's dive in now and take a look at five of the hottest platforms for generating AI video. First up, we have a tool called Leopix. This tool can take your still image and add subtle camera movement and perspective to give it the impression of animation. You've probably seen this effect on videos before, where it looks like the main object, which is typically a static image, is zoomed in on with the background shifting around the object to create a sense of depth. This involves starting with a photo or image you already created, either through traditional means or they can be generated through AI tools like Midjury. You upload those to Leopix, adjust the sliders for the movement and depth you like, and generate your video. Now, what does it take to get videos from Leopix that you can actually upload to Adobe Stock? Leopix offers a free trial, but you can only use that to generate videos of up to 720p, and of course, Adobe Stock and other sites that sell video require at least 1080p resolution. Plus, the free trial does not allow you to sell the videos you generate. For commercial use, you'll need to purchase credits at Leopix, which costs 99 cents for 100 credits, and you can save more as you buy more credits. The other limitation at Leopix is that it caps your animation length at 5 seconds. While Adobe Stock will accept videos as short as 5 seconds, they recommend 15 seconds at least, since many buyers may balk at buying a video that's only 5 seconds long. So you'll probably want to edit the video in software like Adobe Premiere Pro to create a looping clip that's closer to 15 seconds. Next, let's look at Genmo. Its animations are simple, but more true animation compared to Leopix because your objects will actually come to life. Genmo allows you to upload your own starting image that you want to animate, and this will give you a pretty cool stylized video that iterates on or evolves the original image you uploaded, so you get an effect like the one you see on these videos that are currently on Adobe Stock. If you don't like this effect or you just don't have a starting image already, you can generate an image from scratch inside Genmo by using prompts, just as you would do in Midjourney. Of course, every tool has its limitations, and here are Genmos. You can generate videos for free, but you only get 100 credits to do so each day. But the biggest deal breaker is that running videos for free will leave watermarks on your videos. This won't fly for uploading to Adobe Stock or other sites. So you'll need to pay for credits to get videos that are watermark free and allow for commercial use for selling on stock sites. You can get 1080p or higher resolution at Genmo, but length is capped again at 6 seconds, so you'll want to bring the clips into Adobe Premiere Pro and either slow them down or create a loop to lengthen the clips so they're good for selling. Next, you may have heard of Pika Labs, as they've been in the news quite a bit lately, having just unveiled their new generation AI video platform, Pika 1.0. While Pika does allow commercial use of the videos it generates for you, the issue right now is that you can generate watermark-free videos. They do reference this in their FAQs and suggest that an option may be coming to be able to pay for premium access and get watermark-free videos in the future, but as of the recording of this video, it's not there yet. They have something called a Super Collaborator program that would allow you to skip the watermarks if you're approved, but it appears to be pretty exclusive, so you'll probably have to wait until the premium option is unveiled. Next up, we have Runway. There's version 1 that requires you to already have a video, and you can upload it there and have some interesting effects added to it. But what you're probably interested in is version 2, which will generate the video for you and add some really interesting animation to it. Just like some of the other platforms we looked at, there's a free level that generates lower resolution videos, includes a watermark, and can't be used for commercial purposes. You'll need to upgrade to a premium plan to get video output that you can use on sites like Adobe Stock. Finally, we have Kyber, another very impressive platform that's been adding features and getting more and more elaborate in what it allows you to do. It offers text-to-video generation and a level of granular control that some of the other platforms we covered just don't have yet. But, and you probably knew where this was going, while there is a free trial you can sign up for and start messing around with, you want to use this for commercial purposes, and to do that, 
you'll have to sign up for one of the premium plans. That will not only get you commercial use rights, but also the same unlocked features we just saw on the other platforms, like watermark-free videos, higher resolution, and more. So there you have it, a quick rundown of five of the leading AI tools people are using right now to generate videos to sell in Adobe and other stock sites. What I recommend you do is what I've been doing, is testing them out using the free trials. And after a bit of trial and error, if you've decided one of them is giving you output that you really like, go ahead and buy some credits there, going with one of the lower priced plans just to see if it's going to generate video that will be good for you to upload to Adobe Stock. So which tool looks the best to you so far? And what do you think you'll create with them? Ultimately, the biggest factor in whether you'll succeed or fail in this is whether you're generating content that buyers actually want. That's a question I've covered in many of the videos that I have on my channel here on YouTube, where I share the subject matter that is earning me the most money right now, the most downloads these days. And I've addressed many ways to determine how to focus on high commercial value content in a course that I've uploaded recently to Udemy. Here's a look at what the course includes. This masterclass is structured based on key topics you'll need to master to succeed at selling your work and a total of more than 20 modules so you can learn at your own pace, whether you want to learn all at once or a section a day. My step-by-step -step instructions will help you whether you intend to sell photography, AI images, illustrations, or videos. The principles I share will apply to your chosen media, whatever that may be. You see, stock photography is a business, and the principles of serving customers what they need is true, no matter what you're selling. Throughout the course, I'm going to be posting some key things that you must remember on screen like you see here. And just about every module will include something I'm calling the Golden Rules. So right here in the introduction, we're going to call this Golden Rule Number 1. It's actually three rules in one, which makes it that much more crucial to follow. Figure out what customers want, meet those needs in a way that others aren't, and make sure your work is easy to find. In addition to these golden rules, I'll also be sharing golden hacks, because I don't just want to say, always do this, without actually showing you how to do this. So golden hack number one explains one way to find out what is selling and to hone in on a lucrative niche. Let's say you have an opportunity coming up to create an image or video of business people. Always a popular theme, but also a very competitive one. Go to adobestock.com, do a search on business people, expand the filters and select photo, illustration, or video, whatever it is you plan to create. And this is the key, sort by downloads. This shows you the most downloaded images or videos for that subject. You can learn a number of things here. First is that there are nearly 12 million images, so you know there's a lot of competition, which makes it that much more crucial that you choose your approach wisely. Second, you'll see there are a number of business women on the page, more than men. That tells you that photos of a businesswoman may be more in demand than of a businessman. Next, while there is some diversity on the top selling images page, there isn't much. All of this lets you hone in on this conclusion. A businesswoman and a diverse businesswoman of color may help you stand out in this crowded field. So, golden hack number one. Search your topic at a big agency like Adobe, sort by downloads, see what's selling, and find your niche. And speaking of niches, I'm going to share with you my 100 hottest selling themes later in the course. I've discovered these by following the steps I'm sharing with you here, as well as learning from my own sales and iterating on the successes I've had. And I'll give you that entire list to see which ones you can add to your portfolio to generate your own sales. So that's to come. But next, I'll share how I started selling stock way back in 2008, and some of the earliest and most important things I learned to grow my sales into six figures of passive annual income. I'll see you there. If you take the course and find it useful, I'd love to get your feedback. You can leave a review right at Udemy or let me know in the comments here. Also, sign up for my free newsletter on updates from the world of Microsoft. And until next time, I'll see you soon.